This video is brought to you by Soundcore. So Soundcore just released the Boom 2 Plus and they're that confident in their product that they covered the cost of a JBL Boombox 3 for me to compare to it directly. And I'll say it right now, the Boombox 3 is the better quality speaker overall. But it retails for $499 USD, the Boom 2 Plus half of that at $249. So the Boom 2 Plus doesn't necessarily have to be a far superior speaker over the Boombox 3, it just needs to get close. And it gets very close. In many ways, it's better. Now, yes, this video is sponsored, but I'm keeping it as fair as possible here. I'm just gonna cover seven categories, let you know what speaker is better in each of those categories. And I've got tons of indoor and outdoor mic samples at various volumes. So you can hear the speakers for yourself and decide which one's better for you. But let's start with category one, build quality. So starting with colors, the Boom 2 Plus comes in blue, black, or green. The Boombox 3 comes in black or a camo edition. Now the Boom 2 Plus has a simple hard plastic finish all around. It doesn't feel that premium, but definitely doesn't feel cheap. The Boombox 3 has a more premium feel with the fabric finish, slightly higher quality plastics, and it just feels a lot sturdier. That's mainly because it's almost twice as heavy, weighing close to seven kilos, just over 15 pounds. The Boom 2 Plus just under four kilos or eight and a half pounds. So JBL easily wins when it comes to build quality, but category two is portability and the Boom 2 Plus gets the easy win. It's just so much lighter. Like when I'm grabbing the Boom Box 3, every time I grab it, I just don't expect it to be that heavy. The Boom 2 is also just more compact overall. And I do prefer that it has a flat bottom, which makes it easier to rest on an uneven surface. With the Boom Box 3, it's only flat in like the middle of the speaker, which does give it a unique shape. And I do prefer the look of the Boom Box but both speakers have some grooves underneath the handle for some easy grip. The Boom Box does have more grip though because you get some silicon under there. But the Boom 2 includes a strap which you can easily take on and off, making it incredibly easy to take around with you hands-free. So again, easy win for the Boom 2 Plus when it comes to portability. But now category three is the IP rating, so dust and water resistance. And the Boom 2 Plus is IPX7 waterproof, the Boom Box 3 IP67 waterproof and dustproof. So that's gonna give you more peace of mind when using the speaker like at the beach, around sand, in salty water, or on a work site. And both speakers do float in water, but the Boom 2 Plus is able to float with the speakers face up. So you can jam out in the pool with the speaker right next to you. Where with the Boom Box 3, it's always gonna face down no matter what you try and do to keep those speakers facing up. So that could be a big selling point for some people, but I think that dust resistance is more important. So JBL is gonna get the win for this round. But now category four is battery life. And the Boom 2 Plus advertises 20 hours at 50% volume, but this is with the lights turned off and with the base up feature off, so the speaker is not gonna be at its maximum potential. And I'll show the difference between base up on and off in the sound samples. Now the Boombox 3 advertises 24 hours, but they don't specify exactly what volume. Usually it's gonna be 50% volume or below. But spec wise, a Boombox has a 10,000 milliamp hour battery, the Boom 2 Plus 7,200 milliamp hours. So 25% more battery on the Boombox. Now both speakers also have a USB out so you can charge your devices, but the Boombox does need to be charged with an AC adapter. This does give you the advantage of it being able to output 40 extra watts of power when plugged in. But in my test, surprisingly, it didn't make much of a difference. It increased the total volume by about one decibel. The Boom 2 Plus charges via USB-C at 30 watts, so it's just more convenient to charge anywhere. And the output is also fast charging at five volts, three amps, Boombox 3 at five volts, two amps. So it'll charge your devices slightly faster. So pretty close here when it comes to battery life, but JBL has a bigger battery. You're gonna get more play time, so they get the win. But do keep in mind, if you're cranking both speakers at 100% volume, expect no more than about four hours of battery. Now I haven't actually tested this because I can't have a speaker playing at 100% volume for more than a couple of hours without the cops getting called. But I was on a farm once with my JBL Party Box 310 and they advertise 18 hours of battery on that. And I was getting about three hours at max volume. But now onto category five, connectivity. Both speakers use Bluetooth 5.3. You do get SPC and AAC codecs on the Boom 2 Plus, just SPC on the Boom Box 3. Still, I had no issues on my iPhone 15 Pro. I also tested it on my ASUS Zenfone 10, and I did have an issue with the Boom 2 Plus reverting to using AAC as the main codec, and the sound was just very strange and muddy. So when I went into the developer settings and changed it to SPC, it sounded much better, on par with how the Boom 2 Plus sounded on my iPhone 15 Pro. Now I have had this issue with other audio products. I think it's an ASUS only issue, but if you do have an Android device and your speaker sounds weird, check your developer settings. But on both my iPhone and Zenfone, when it came to latency on both speakers, it was pretty much identical. 
and both speakers also have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. You can get a version of the Boombox 3 with Wi-Fi for lossless streaming, but it costs a lot more and then you don't get the audio jack. So there are mixed reviews on that version. Now both speakers also have multi-point connections so you can connect two devices to the speaker at the same time. Both speakers have takeover as well. So when you press play on one device, it will automatically pause on your other device. This is almost instant on the Boombox 3, where on the Boom 2 Plus, it takes about five seconds for that other device to pause. Now, both speakers also allow you to pair up to 100 compatible speakers. So any JBL speaker with Party Boost and any Soundcore speaker with PartyCast 2.0. And if you have two of the same speaker, you can pair them in stereo mode. So then the speakers will work like a regular pair of bookshelf speakers. So there are some small differences here. Overall, I'm gonna give it a tie. Now, category six is extra features. So there are some small differences here, starting with the controls that you get. So on both speakers, you can play and pause your music, adjust volume up and down and skip tracks forward, but you can only skip tracks back on the Boom 2 Plus. A small thing, but worth noting. And the next extra is of course the light feature that the Boom 2 Plus has, which you can turn on or off and cycle through various modes on the speaker or in the app. And you get eight different modes, all with a unique effect. The flame effect is my favorite and you can adjust the brightness of the lights, but on certain modes, the intensity of the lights will also increase as you increase that volume. You can also adjust the color combinations for all the different effects. So a bit of a random round there, but Soundcore gets a win. So before we go into the final round sound quality, JBL has four wins, Boom 2 Plus, three wins. Now let's first talk about the volume here because it's neck and neck between both speakers. So both speakers at 50% volume measured about one meter away from the speaker. I was getting around 80 to 83 decibels. At max volume, both speakers about 94 to 97 decibels. The Boombox 3 was about half a decibel louder. And the Boombox when plugged in is gonna be about one decibel louder. But it's really not a huge difference. I mean, it goes from 138 watts to 180 watts, but really doesn't seem like that much of a difference. The Boom 2 Plus is 140 watts at its peak with bass up on, 100 watts with it off. And that's the same whether it's plugged in or on battery. And you'll likely wanna have that bass up feature on most of the time. So as the name implies, it really does boost the bass. Also boost the overall wattage and power. You just get a more powerful sound overall. If you are in a smaller room though, then you might wanna turn that off because the bass can get a little bit over the top and kind of resonate off the walls. So it's nice to have the option to turn that off. But here's a quick sound sample of what the speaker sounds like with bass up on compared to bass up off. The indoor sample is at 50% volume and the outdoor sample is at 100% volume. Now, before we go into the sound samples, we need to talk about the actual setup of the speakers because the Boombox 3, we could say has a more beefy setup because in the middle of the speaker is a pretty massive racetrack woofer, which is seven and a half by four and a half inches. That's gonna give you that nice deep bass and it's probably why the speaker is so heavy. You also get two three quarter inch tweeters for the high end and behind each of those tweeters, two and three quarter inch woofers, plus the passive radiators on the side to push out some air and a little extra bass. The Boom 2 Plus has two four and a half inch woofers, two tweeters and two passive radiators. So a more classic speaker setup. So explaining the sound, I'd say the Boom Box 3 has a slightly more V-shaped tuning. So you get some pretty impressive deep sub bass with that racetrack woofer in the middle. It's not gonna hit like the deepest bass notes that you will get on an actual subwoofer, but it definitely outshines a Boom 2 Plus in that deep bass department. The treble is quite forward and can get piercing on certain songs around 50% volume, especially at those high volumes. This does give you some very nice detail with acoustic guitars, hi-hats and crashes and female vocals. And you can also dial it down in the three band EQ. I find one notch down really does help. 
Now the mids here are slightly recessed, but recessed in a way where the vocals are still at the center stage. Vocals can fall back slightly when there's a lot more going on in a song. I think that could be due to the speaker setup with the woofers set behind the tweeters, but I'm honest, I'm no expert on the actual layout of the speaker. I just kind of listen to it and let you know how I think it sounds. And the Boombox 3, although having some slight flaws, still sounds amazing. Now the Boom 2 Plus sounds quite different and keep in mind this explanation is with bass up on. So the mids here are boosted well where instrumentation, synths and electronic music all has nice presence and it stands out more than the boombox. Vocals on certain songs can sound more forward, but at times can get a little bit shouty, but just like the boombox, you can dial down the mids there in the EQ if you like, and you get much better sound customization and you can adjust the actual frequency of each of those bands. Now the treble here is very nice. It's well mannered. You get nice detail and sparkle while never getting harsh at all. So overall, the treble is nicer on the Boom 2 Plus. Now the bass has some nice punch to it. You get some sub bass, but just not on the level of the boom box. But the mid bass is much fuller. It can get a little bit boomy at times. This will again depend on where you're actually listening. If you're indoors, it can be quite boomy, but if you're outdoors, then it's gonna be fine. And again, you can turn that bass up feature off to reduce this. So it's super close. Overall, I'd say the Boombox 3 sounded better indoors, but in the outdoor test, it's pretty neck and neck. I think that fuller mid bass works better outdoors, where you don't really hear too much of that deep sub bass when there's no walls to actually resonate off. And let's remember here, the Boom 2 Plus is half the price and it's holding up incredibly well. But now I've got tons of sound samples for you to listen to, kind of demonstrating what I just explained. So the first song here is called Lazy Laura by an artist name I can't pronounce. And this is an instrumental track where you can really hear the detail on the Boom 2 Plus and the bass differences between the two speakers. And all the samples here are with no EQ customization, so it's just a stock tuning you get out of the box and with the Boom 2 Plus with bass up on. So the first sample here is at 50% volume indoors because any louder than that with the setup I got, it just kind of sounds a bit too much. 50% volume on both speakers indoors is very loud and the outdoor test is gonna be at 100% volume. Keep in mind there was some wind which kind of messes up the audio slightly but you'll still get a pretty good idea. The second track here is Cool Revenge by Jeremy Blake. And on this song in person, you can really feel that deep sub bass on the Boombox 3. I'm not too sure if it really comes across in the recording, but on the Boom 2 Plus, the detail on the synths and the bass guitar stands out more. Now the final song here is called Far Away by Nevertell. I finally found some decent royalty free rock slash metal kind of music. Now here the Boombox 3 sounds better indoors to me, but the Boom 2 Plus sounds better outdoors with a punchier and fuller sound. Memories I'm haunted by You're pulling me back in when I'm 
It's my brain that's part of life. Why you gone? I'm afraid no one relates to my mistakes. You know I got them memorized. Alright, so looking back at those recordings, it seems like the Boom 2 Plus is a winner, but in person it was much closer. So I actually retested both speakers on another day and I created a 20 minute continuous sound test. So that'll be uploaded very soon because it's close to the point where some songs sound better on the Boom 2 Plus, others on the Boombox 3. So for sound quality, I'm giving it a tie, but the Boom 2 Plus is by far the better value speaker, better portability, can float upright, better EQ customization and the lights to top it all off. So Soundcore has nailed it once again, it's 100% worth the money. But if you're looking for a more compact speaker, I compared the little brother, the Boom 2, to the Boom 2 Plus. So check that video out here and you'll be surprised how close the Boom 2 gets to the Boom 2 Plus when it comes to sound quality at less than half the size. As usual, stay picky and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.